Now, uh, I'm gonna throw a little name at you and you just tell me, uh, what you think. Okay. Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> Funny. I Listen, I'm from Kentucky originally. Um, if this if this interview was around 9 or 10 o'clock at night, you'd get a completely different accent out of me because once I start getting tired, my Kentucky comes out. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of I have a lot of redneck in me, um, but I have a professional job. So you know, in business hours, and even a few hours after my business hours, I'm I'm still um, this version of myself. But uh, I I I love Larry the Cable. I think he's hilarious. I think he's one of the funniest guys I, I've watched. I mean, he's it's cheesy and it's and it's and it's kind of it's gimmicky, but it's funny. I don't care. If it's funny to me, I'm gonna laugh. It is what it is. Get her done. Get her done. That's right. But you met him, correct? Uh, did I meet Larry the Cable Guy? I don't. I don't. <laughs> and so I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know what you're talking about, and I don't know where I would have posted this. Um. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm about to tell this story. So my brother, who lives in North Carolina, um, is a trip. He is one of the the craziest guys I've ever met in my life. And he had come home uh, to visit, and this was back when Yahoo dating was big. Like, you can get on Messenger and, and find dates pretty quick. And he had come home, and he'd been home all of 15 minutes, and he found these two girls that weren't far from us, and he wanted to meet. He wanted me to go with him. So he talked me into going with him, and when we got there, the girl that was there to see him was, was gorgeous, obviously, just absolutely gorgeous. And... When her friend got out of the side of the truck, she looked like Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> and uh, that I, I think that's what you're talking about. I've never actually met the real Larry the Cable Guy, but this girl was a dead ringer. Like she was, she was like Loretta the Cable Girl. She was like her his sister. I'm telling you, she it was awful. And I was just like, I'm telling him, dude, if you leave me in this jeep and go over in that truck with, I'm gonna die. Please don't leave me. Um, obviously, I didn't die. Loretta, the cable girl, didn't kill me, but um, I think that's what you're. I think that's maybe what you, in any research yes, that you've done. That's that probably is, what you're finding. Yes, that is what I was referring to. Well, then now I have to kill my brother. Uh, just so you know, you, you you're going to be a part of premeditated homicide. <laughs> I'm taking you guys down with me. Ah, we're used to it. <laughs> There's a, uh, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I have to know though. Like, where did where did you get that from? I have to know. I cannot give all my my resources of uh, we have, information. Yeah. Journalistic what, integrity. We've okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. 